Sweet sword, Shane. Yeah, leveled up, no big deal. I'm going for spectral dogs. Really? Yeah. I was thinking plague bats, but if the figure with the dogs, like, we'll really be able to get good pursuit, you know? I, I was, mean, I guess, what about undead? I really, I consider it, I have to say. But it's like, okay. What? Do you have a problem with the dogs? No problem with the dogs. Seems like you have a problem with the dogs. I have no problems with the dogs. I'm getting a lot well, of the dogs are key to my strategy here. Lady Astra, you'll keep that weapon in hand. The thief will be spoiling for a fight. You need to be ready. Understood. Biff, you'll scout ahead. Eyes peeled and arrow knocked. What? Will. Nelzul, I expect you to be prepared to make up for your error. I was recharging my spell. <clears throat> Eagerly, Lady Corellia. It is imperative that we retrieve the Eleventh Eye, but we've never been more ready for the task. Together, no force can stop us. Okay, so where's the thief? Yeah, where, where's that end? Response has been good, Hunter. You're cleared to keep going on this. It's LARP, Alex. Right, right, sorry. The column's been generating good buzz. They don't know you're writing about them yet? No, they don't. Do you think they'll keep playing? Who? These players, right? What names did you give them? Phil and Lindsay? They broke up. Yeah, but I think it'll be fine. My friend Kat is joining the game, and she's completely new, so that's gonna be a nice angle. Does your friend know that you're writing about the game? Yeah, it's not gonna be a problem. I was just wondering if maybe you two could stir up some- mm, I don't think so. We're there to play. That's enough. Days off are the best, aren't they? Just spend all day doing nothing. Playing in a LARP isn't nothing. True. It'll turn around. No one blames you. I didn't lose the 11th eye. Uh, well... Okay, it is not my fault that Nelzul doesn't have a perception check worth a damn. <laughs> I guess not. But Nelzul's your first new character in three years. You'll get used to him. Who specs a necromancer for guard duty, anyway? Am I right? Like... Just may as well throw the rest of my ability points out the window. Well, it's all part of the game, isn't it? It's a new adventure for us. I didn't lose it. We'll get it back. To have any chance of that, we gotta be on our game. Like Will, you know? Like I told him, relationship dynamics just totally mess things up. No offense. There's a reason you broke up with him, right? Corellia and Biff are together in character only. There's no problem. 
Okay. Hey. Do you have a dream, Will? Sure. I dream I'll get this job. I had a dream. For 20 years, I bled for this dream. I did some things that keep me up at night. But now, that dream's a reality. You have that kind of drive? Yes. I learned a long time ago to trust my gut. Uh-huh. I never make any crucial decisions unless I feel like I'm gonna puke. You're saying I make you feel sick? <laughs> I'm saying that you're different. What do you do for fun, Will? Well, uh, I had a girlfriend until recently. <laughs> hey -o. Fun? Uh, mm, I don't know, um... TV, video games, you know, normal stuff. Oh, Jesus. Just like every other punk-ass kid in Montreal. I, uh... Oh, God. Uh, I also... LARP. Live, uh... Live action role playing? Oh, I see. So, uh, you're one of those. I knew it. I knew you were different. You will fit right in. Pour coffee, talk to the customers about their games. So I got the job then. Job? This isn't a job, it's a calling. Uh, calling the pays though, right? <laughs> I love this place. This place is my dream. And I'll do anything to protect it. And so will you. Won't you, Will? The strawberry scones are especially moist today. Push them. Okay, I am officially excited. I've been wanting to play ever since I started reading your articles. Let's keep that to ourselves, okay? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. I spent all of work today trying to get caught up on the rules. Uh, you're an engineer, Kat, so if you don't do your job, doesn't a bridge fall down somewhere? What can I say? I've been looking forward to this. It's my first time. Oh, I'll try to be gentle. Don't you dare. I signed up for the whole experience. You know, I think there's enough chocolate in one of these things to kill a puppy. Or a small child. Thanks, man. You got the job? Yeah, consider this my celebration. Hey. Hey. Catherine, meet our party's ranger. Oh, man, you're Phil. Will. What's up? Will, right. You knew this thing, right? Uh, okay, it's easy. Don't piss off Evan, and you win. I'll keep that in mind. All right, cool. Lot Amy, fucker! <laughs> so you got your character ready? Sure do. I even went shopping. Did you know? Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard. Oh man. When do we start? When Evan sets the scene. Set the scene? Well, my brother Evan is the game master, or the GM, but he runs the game, like the rules and the NPCs. Right, non-player characters. Yeah, and we're player characters, or PCs. I'm Corellia, a mage. Shane is Astra, a paladin. Arthur is Nelzul, a necromancer. <laughs> I'm a fox and cleric. Nice. And Will plays Biff, our ranger, and Corellia's lover. The love of an elf lasts forever. Evan plays everyone else? Yep. 
So he's just telling the story and we're following along? Not exactly. Um, Evan provides a framework, but we decide what our characters do and the story evolves from there. Gotcha. Hi, Kat. I'm Evan. Pleased to meet you. I look forward to kicking your ass. Okay. We ready to go? Come on. I'm very glad to have met you. My name is Elowen. I've heard all about the Guardians of the Eleventh Eye. Well, the ex-Guardians. I see. Shall I help you get the Eleventh Eye back? We've been in need of a cleric for some time. We'd gladly have you accompany us to recover the artifact. Sweet. And once you've found it, you can hand it to me. Not on your life! I didn't come here to fight. I'm here to warn you. When you recover the Eleventh Eye, I'll be here to claim it. So you don't have it then? We could kill you now, be rid of you. You're welcome to try, I don't recommend it. Why kill him when we can simply have darkness consume him? Stand back, I'll handle this well. Arthur, we barely escaped this guy for one, remember? This one? This one is nothing! History will not remember him. His life is an afterthought. <laughs> I'll even let him get the first strike. <clears throat> Elowen, quick, heal our friend. Right, uh, how, how do I do that? Throw one of your spell balls at him. Oh, a spell ball, um... Yeah! Grats, you healed the bad guy. I didn't come here to fight, but I don't like being provoked. Then prove it. Kill me. What? Do it! <laughs> Coward! <laughs> Avenge me! <laughs> Avenge you. For what? All you've ever done is lost the eleventh eye. What up? Chuck up another PC death, Arthur. It's cool. I got another, I got another character ready. <sighs> nice try on the heel, cat. I'll get better, I promise. <laughs> well, you know, no use in uh, wasting spells on the useless. Hey. Come on, guys. We got a lot of game left. What about the other? You just, you're just gonna leave them? No, no. Look, if I go full plague bats, I'll still be able to use my staff to raise the undead. And I was thinking, raise and recruit no, no. undead. Well, yeah, obviously. Obviously. Because you don't want to raise them, I have to have them fight you. No, that's okay. So, okay, the, the plan pretty much is, and this is like, this is really okay, no. down to eleven gotcha, this because okay. this is more like a big picture kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking, like, if I go for the five um, raised skeletons, I'll be able to do the pentagram protection. And that is. You should always I know, use protection. Because I'm full cloth. No, absolutely. Because I figure if I have the full set of cloth, then I'll be able to. Um, to raise the undead. Yeah, but then you don't have any leather elements. You're a bit like. Dead. I have the belt. Uh, no, I mean, look, protect me. I chose it really carefully. 